The thing that I love the most about teaching are those so-called aha moments in, in class. So those are the moments where students just get it. They, uh, it clicks into place. And uh, it's those moments that actually teachers live for, to be honest. Uh, you can, uh, they manifest themselves in how students smile. They smile when they actually get the material. Uh, you could see the virtual light bulbs lighting up above their heads sometimes even. If both do not take the deal, they both benefit. Because One of the most important no aspects of that. teaching science is to make your students become critical thinkers, which means that they're supposed to not just take facts, but to be able to implement them in a bigger picture, to implement them in the concepts that you teach, and at the same time, um, allow them to make their own or deduce their own conclusions. And sometimes these are not the same conclusions you make. So suddenly you have people challenging your own views. And this I think is one of the most um, beneficial things that we as the teachers get back from the students. Okay, what about so for points? Over time, I would like to see them become more independent. That means uh, they will go ahead, uh, read the material themselves, dig deeper than maybe what I would cover in the class. The professor, in my opinion, is not expected to give 100% in the class. We expect to guide the student and let them uh, use their imagination and their skills, build their skills so they can explore on their own. Is the determinant of each Hermitian H. Okay, you know that each Hermitian H is a square matrix of dimension N, T, on The N. fruits of teaching, they come a bit late, so they are not during the you know semester itself or even like uh, the final examination. They come when I meet a student who took like a class like uh, one year ago or a couple of years ago, and then I find that he or she is different. I mean, uh, they are more technically competent. Uh, they remember, you know, they remember the stuff we were talking about during the class. That's when I get very excited because I think then that they le they really learned something. A good teacher should be a catalyst. I'm a catalysis guy, by the way. Um, and that, the, the catalyst function is to reduce the energy barrier. So a teacher's role is to reduce the barrier of learning process for the students so that they can learn at a more, say, convenient or ease environment. And you remember, symmetry is an important player on the selection rule. Teaching is uh, being part of a process is not providing students uh, a list of uh, uh, subject, uh, a list of uh, information on, on a subject, but is really being part of a long process from the students. So students uh, come to the class with uh, their own background, learned on the previous years, and then what we need to do is to be able to insert ourselves in this long process and then provide them tools and uh, um, a guideline on how to proceed in, in learning.